Haruthik Shetty asked me, hey Daniel, can you please make a video showing how to make a pie chart? I'm having a hard time creating one. Absolutely. Let's start on the edit page, go up to your media pool, right click and choose new fusion composition. Let's name this pie chart. And then once it's created, drag it down into your timeline. Then let's right click and choose open infusion page. Now we've got our media out node right here. Let's grab a background node, bring that down into the node graph area and connect it to the media out. And in the upper right, if you wanna change the color of this, you can choose a different color. Maybe we'll go with like a really dark purple. Now we're gonna need to create our circle. Let's grab another background node, bring that down in, and let's connect the output of that one to the output of the previous background node, and that will layer it on top, creating a merge node to connect the two. Now all we're seeing is black right now, and we really want a circle, so with the second background node selected, let's add an ellipse mask on top by clicking on that. Now we've got black on purple. I wanna change that black, so let's select the second background, go up to the upper right, click on color, and why don't we go with red. Hit OK. And now we have the basic foundation of what we need to make a pie chart. Now we need to create our pie chart slices. Let's left click hold in the node area and select both the ellipse and background node. And we want to copy these. And you can do that by hitting control plus C on your keyboard or command plus C if it's on a Mac. And let's click over in the gray area somewhere and now hit control or command V and it'll paste it in. This is just a duplicate of that red circle. Let's connect that in the same way by grabbing the output of the background node and connecting it to the output of the merge. Now that's merged in on top. But we're gonna want this slice to be a different color, so let's select the background node of what's going to be the first slice. Go to the upper right, choose color, and why don't we go with a blue color and hit okay. Now we need to cut this down to the size of a slice. So to do that, let's select our ellipse mask and let's mask that out again by adding in a polygon mask. Now this kind of moved this a little weird, but as you can see, it's just the exact same thing with that polygon node mask inserted between the ellipse and the background. So let's select it and let's click up in the preview window. Start by clicking outside of the circle then click again exactly on the center mark of the circle, then click one more time outside the circle, and then connect those together by clicking back on the first dot. We've now created a slice, but we need to do a little bit of work. This whole circle was supposed to be red and the slice was supposed to be blue. So with that polygon node selected, let's go up to the upper right inspector and where it says paint mode, let's change that to subtract and then tick the invert box underneath it. Now we've got a slice. I'm just gonna grab these handles and make them round out a little bit by selecting each one of these little spots and pulling it outward so that it kind of has a round shape because now we can go right over to the Z rotation and we can start spinning that pie piece any way we want. And you can change the size of it here just by grabbing any one of these and pulling them in to make the pie slice a different size. Now, if you wanna add more slices, all you have to do is select all of these pie slice nodes right here, hit Control or Command C to copy, click back in the node area, hit Control or Command V to paste and connect that back in as a new slice. Select the color to change it to a different color. This one is blue still. So let's make the next slice orange. Hit OK. And then when we grab the polygon node mask for that slice, you can grab the Z rotation and move it. And you can do this as many times as you need to add more slices in and just connect them in one at a time, changing their colors along the way, and then using the Z rotation of the polygon mask of each to move them into place. Now, here's another really cool thing you could do. If you've got your playhead at the beginning, you can actually grab one of these corners of the polygon mask, drag that in down to nothing, make sure a keyframe is set right here, move your playhead forward, and then pull that back over to where you'd like it to be. And now when you play back through, you'll actually have an animated pie chart. Now you can still add text and things on top of these, but there you go, nice and easy pie chart.